The rebellion is in less than ideal straits. General Solo, having been frozen in carbonite some time prior, was now being held captive by the infamous Jabba the Hutt. This human was considered to be of critical importance to the Rebel Alliance, and so his plight could not be ignored. Fortunately, R2-D2 had a plan. He advised the moisture farmer to send both him and C-3PO to rescue General Solo. But just as R2 was about to incapacitate the crime lord, General Organa and Chewbacca burst in. An unfortunate miscommunication. And they caused a scene resulting in the entire group being apprehended by Jabba's guards. R2, faced with no other option, sent out a distress signal to the moisture farmer, who responded with surprising speed to the plight of his companions. But in his haste, he came unarmed and ill-prepared to assist. Thankfully, R2, having planned for any organic-caused oversight, had grabbed the moisture farmer's lightsaber and hidden it inside his chassis prior to visiting Java. Once retrieved, it gave the moisture farmer the strength needed to free the group. With his autonomy regained, R2 shattered General Solo's carbonite prison and made quick work of Java and his lackeys. He then coordinated the group's defensive getaway via the Millennium Falcon, all without breaking an oil sweat. But R2 had not forgotten his other old friends. He suggests that the moisture farmer, still noticeably lacking in skill and wit, should return to Dagobah to finish his training with the Jedi Master Yoda. The moisture farmer agrees, and the two make their way back to the swampy planet. It turns out that R2 made an expert call as Jedi Master Yoda was nearing the end of his life. The moisture farmer absorbs all he can before Yoda abandons his organic form and, hoping that now the moisture farmer is at least somewhat equipped, R2 guides him back to the Rebel Alliance. Upon his return, R2 is briefed on the existence of a second Death Star. After reviewing the intelligence, R2 instructs a strike team led by General Solo to destroy the Death Star's shield generator on the forest moon of Endor, while another team will wait on standby to attack the Death Star the moment its shield goes down. The strike team is successful per R2's calculations, but unfortunately the moisture farmer, who R2 diligently tried to mentor and train, abandons the team and goes off on his own. Disappointed but not surprised, R2 has no choice but to wait. Fortunately, the other rebels have been well trained by R2's example and managed to destroy the second Death Star. Thus, the galaxy was saved once again. The end. So, what did you think of my story?